So today we're going to be looking at the content aware fill for After Effects. This tool is available in After Effects from the spring 2019 version onwards. I'm running After Effects 2020 here. For those of you that have used Photoshop in the past, this tool in After Effects will do something very similar, but for a video clip. So we're going to open up After Effects and then go to my finder grab my clip and bring it in to After Effects and drop it on the timeline. Now, what we're going to do is on this drone clip of this car going through, we're going to get content to where to replace the area where the car is so that it's just an empty road. So to do this, we need to create a mask. We can use a pen tool by pressing G or click up there on the pen tool and click around the object that I want to remove. Now, to, for content of where to work, we need to set the mode to subtract like this. I'm just gonna show you a couple of other ways to create the mask. So if you click and drag, every time you click, you can create a rounded mask so that it's a little bit better for, for the content of where tool to work with. The other option is by using the ellipse tool. It should create a circle or an ellipse around the object. And because this is almost the shape that we're working with, it's quite a good way to work. So I'm gonna switch my mode to none for this part, just so that I can see what I'm working with underneath the mask. And as you can see, uh, we're going to have some issues with this because the camera is moving and also the object is moving. So we're going to have to track this um, object through the clip. So to do that, we just click on the stopwatch timer under the mask uh, path tab. And we're going to zoom in a little bit and we're going to just adjust this, bring in the mask. And as we move along, every time that we see the mask is getting close to the edge of the object, we're just gonna adjust it. And I'm gonna skip forward, just make this a little bit quicker for you guys. You can see what I've been up to in creating this mask and making sure that the object doesn't go outside of the frame of the mask. The tighter the mask, the better. As, as you can see here, I've missed the first keyframe. So let's just skip back and make sure that that's in the right position now. And as you can see, the, the mask tracks the car now. And we're going to change this mode to subtract. So the content aware fill tab is on the right hand side there. Um, you can also find it under window settings for the content aware fill. The first one is the alpha expansion, which I've set to eight. The next option is object surface or edge blend. Uh, so this is the area in your workspace as work area or entire duration. The work area can be adjusted if you grab this blue slider on the bottom of the timeline. The entire duration is obviously the full, the full clip that you've got there. So you're just gonna hit the generate fill layer and that's gonna create a PNG file which will appear above your clip. This is gonna take a while. It's a very intensive process. So I'm just gonna leave this processing here. Probably go and get a cup of tea, coffee, that kind of thing. But I'll fast forward it for you. So speed this process up. So I'm just waiting for the last few frames to analyze and then we should be done. And as you can see, looking through here, it's done a very good job at recreating the background. So that car does not look as if it was there anymore. 
I'm just gonna zoom in just so that I can show you where the car was. So you see the mask there. I'm gonna zoom in again. So that's where the mask was and where the car was, but as you can see, as I scrub through here and as I play it back, you can't see where the car was and it has done a really good job. Now there are times where it doesn't do such a great job and you're just going to have to go through and change your mask and tweak it a few times. Um, it obviously is a very intensive process and works better on shorter clips. Thanks for watching my video. Um, I hope you liked it. Uh, please like and subscribe. And if you've got any comments, please pop them down below. Um, I'll see you in the next video.